conservative new media viewers, we've got some cool news to bring you from the world of science. What you are looking at now is a picture of a chimpanzee. Yes, it's actually a chimpanzee and not a bodybuilder wearing a chimpanzee mask. The chimpanzee just happened to be hairless at the time the picture was taken for whatever reason. You can find more information about this photo in the photo credit section in the video description below the video player. Many people don't realize how physically strong chimpanzees are, but this photo gives you a good idea of how powerful these animals really are. We're not here to talk about the strength of the great apes, however. What we are here to talk about is a fascinating new study from a team of researchers from the University of Edinburgh in Scotland, United Kingdom. The team studied two branches of the great ape family, chimpanzees and orangutans. There are four existing branches of the great ape family, chimps, orangutans, gorillas, and human beings. Yes, humans are listed as a member of this biological family. To learn more about the great apes family, please follow the Wikipedia link for Hominidae in the video description below. And the apparent relationship between other great apes and humans is important for this new study because its findings may help human beings understand and deal with the seemingly age-old problem of the midlife crisis. I'll summarize what the scientists found in their study, and you can read more about this study in the two linked articles on the subject in the video description. The research team found that chimps and orangutans are happiest when they are young and old, but they are the least happy during the middle of their lives. This mirrors findings mentioned in the linked Scientific American article that human beings tend to be the least happy in their lives from the period of their mid-30s until their late 50s. Or, basically, humans tend to be least happy when they are middle-aged, similar to what the scientists from the UK found in the great apes they studied. Scientists refer to this common bottoming out of happiness in a person's middle age as the U-shaped happiness curve. That is, we are most happy, or the feelings of happiness for a person are often most high, at the ends of the U, which correspond to a person being young or old. But when the U dips down during middle age, that is when a person often feels the least happy. We'll include a link to an article about the U-shaped happiness curve so you can see a graphic representation of this phenomenon. For humans, being unhappy in middle age can lead to such midlife crisis behavior as buying a new sports car, quitting a job, or seeking some way to feel young once again, possibly to chase away the blues associated with this period of a person's life. This new study, though, suggests that the midlife crisis for humans may be more of a biological phenomenon than a social one. In other words, we may be hardwired by evolution to feel unhappy in middle age for whatever reason. What is promising then about this research on the great apes is that if the middle age crisis is a biological condition, so to speak, then there may be hormonal or other solutions which could be developed to help combat it. Of course, more research is likely needed to draw any more concrete conclusions. Give us your comments about this story below. Thumbs up, thumbs down on this video. Of course, we encourage you to come and join the Conservative New Media Facebook group. You'll find a link for that also in the video description. Thanks a lot for watching Conservative New Media. This is Paul F. Villarreal. We will talk to you again soon.